Hello Aquarius, thank you so much for being here. I hope you're all doing well. Today's reading will be all about your person, the person you're thinking about or are connecting with. Uh, what are they thinking about you? How do they view you? What messages do they have for you? And what are their intentions for the future? So let's jump right in for Aquarius. Very good. Messages for Aquarius, please, for Aquarius. Oh, I have one that's flipped over. What are they uh, thinking about Aquarius right now? How are they viewing Aquarius right now, Spirit? Oh, I got two. The Emperor, Aries Energy, and the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this is definitely somebody who is not messing around. This is someone that is very established takes charge of situations, is very serious. Um, I almost feel like when they think about you, they think that they have to really step up. Maybe they're thinking about appearing to you in this way, King of Pentacles and the Emperor energy, or this is you. You have a handle on things. So it's you're not somebody that they could even think about messing with at this time. I'm also getting like very mature energy here as well. Maybe there's an age difference. I'm not sure, but I feel like in their mind, you are not to be messed with right now. What messages do they have for Aquarius? What do they wish they could tell Aquarius at this time? Two of Wands, okay. A decision, a choice being made. What message do they have for Aquarius? Five of Wands. Okay, so I'm getting like um, conflicted. Someone is not sure of what path to take, what decision to make. Maybe they're dealing with a lot of drama, conflict. I feel, I'm getting the, um, the uh, I'm hearing move away, move away. It's like maybe someone's trying to move away from this drama, this conflict and head in a different direction. The Knight of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. So maybe this is some sort of action that they want to take to move away from all of this difficulty. Maybe this is action that you are expecting from them and they just haven't made the decision and it's causing a lot of problems. I see that as well. So what are their intentions for the future, Aquarius? And then I will clarify all of these a little bit more. What are their intentions for the future, Spirit? When it comes to Aquarius. Wow, the magician. So they definitely have a goal in mind. The magician is a go-getter. The magician is someone that does whatever it takes, manifests, creates, has a lot of power. And the sun, wow. So what I'm getting here is like this person, they want to succeed. They visualize happiness. They visualize good news. You know, in their mind, they're going to succeed. This is the path that they want to take with the sun. You know, but this is interesting because I feel like, okay, the nine of swords is at the bottom of the deck. So that makes a little bit more sense. The nine of swords is someone that's a bit anxious, fearful. So I think almost like this person is like being very optimistic. There's a lot of optimism here that I feel could be, I don't know, maybe like they're fantasizing, daydreaming. We'll see. Let's clarify because I want to give them a little bit of, um, of a benefit of the doubt here that what they want to achieve, they actually have a plan for. And this is not just like a pipe dream, right? But before I do that, let's get um, an overall energy for this person. Spirit, can I get an overall energy, please, for this person that Aquarius is dealing with? I keep wanting to say Libra. What is their overall energy in this connection or their overall energy towards Aquarius? I wanted to say that again. Sudden realization, clarity, truth, epiphany. So this could be clarity, the sun, some sort of um, inspiration, realization. They're realizing something about you or this connection. 
and I think it's driving them to take some sort of action here. So let's see what if, whether that's going to be something that this person is actually going to do because it could be that this is their plan, but you know, those are their intentions, but what do we need to know about that? Okay, so let's get some clarity here. Clarity, please, for Aquarius. What do we need to know? What do we need to know for Aquarius? Tell me about the King of Pentacles and the Emperor. This is how they view you. What they are thinking about you. What are their... What do we need to know about this King of Pentacles and the Emperor? The Emperor is very similar to the Magician. See, there's the Two of Swords. So it's kind of like the Two of Wands over there. Indecision. Tell me about the King of Pentacles and the Emperor. The Seven of Cups. So that's like choices. Options. You know what I'm getting here? This is very interesting. There's the Moon. Pisces. I'm getting that you... And this is going to be very specific, Aquarius, but this is what I'm feeling very strongly. You are over this whole wishy-washy, undecided, unsure, uncertain, torn energy. You are a king of pentacles and emperor energy. That's what you're expecting in return. This person doesn't have the clarity. They don't have this decisive energy and they're a bit confused or doubtful here a bit unsure so it's like they're not matching your energy they're not able to bring you what you are desiring or seeking maybe that's why the five of wands is here maybe that's why you know there's issues here so this is the, the messages right what they wish they could tell you with the two of wands five of wands what can you tell me, Spirit, about the Two of Wands and the Five of Wands? What do we need to know about this energy? There's a Magician. Tell me about the Two of Wands and the Five of Wands, please. The Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like what's happening here is there have been plans talked about, goals listed, promises made. And there's strength, Leo energy. But unfortunately, I feel like there's no results. Maybe you've been fighting about how to get to a certain level in your relationship. Or fighting about how to make something happen. Whether it's something that this person has to do in their own life. Or something for your connection or your relationship. I don't know what this is, but I feel like... There are problems here, conflict here, because the path hasn't been chosen. The decision has not been made. And it's like the opportunity has not been, like, manifested. I feel like they want to reassure you, but I don't know how they could reassure you without evidence. <laughs> or I feel like they've already made you some promises here. Let me know if that's resonating in the comments because I feel like this person, you've already had, you have expectations that they're probably not meeting. Which is strange because the magician is the one that gets things done, the emperor as well. Tell me about the magician and the sun. What can you tell me about the magician and the sun? There's that Nine of Swords again. Yeah. Tell me about the Magician and the Sun. There's fear. There's um, anxiety here. Eight of Wands. Movement, action, or communication. Tell me about the Magician and the Sun. The Queen of Cups. So I feel like this person is feeling a bit of pressure. Yeah, the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. They're feeling pressure to deliver. I don't know if this is you, but I feel like, you know, I'm hearing like love isn't enough. Or emotions are not enough. You need to see something else. You need more from this person. And for some reason, maybe they're realizing now that the, they need to deliver. That, that they can no longer not know. So let's see, Spirit, can we get some insight into 
what messages this person has for Aquarius. Let's see what they want to tell you. What message do they have for Aquarius? It's all my fault. What message do they have for Aquarius? My heart belongs to you. Bottom of the deck, I feel guilty. So they're feeling guilty. You know, Nine of Swords could also be a card about remorse. I think that they feel guilty that they've put you in a, in a situation. That's the energy I'm picking up. Like, they feel guilty that they have caused more problems um, or that they've added to the problems. I look for you everywhere. What else? What other message do they have for Aquarius? What other message do they have for Aquarius? Oh, I hope that you can forgive me one day. And my life is not as together as it seems. Hmm. Let me get one more clarity um, or one more energy here for this Nine of Swords. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Three of, three of Pentacles. And tell me about the Eight of Wands. So it's like this person is afraid, anxious about taking some sort of action here. Three of Cups. There could also be a third person or a third um, or some sort of interference in the form of a person. I'm getting it's not a romantic partner. So this is not from, I mean, obviously take it as it resonates, but I feel like for most of you that are watching, the interference could be a family member or a friend or a boss. I feel like this person's too afraid to to take this action, Eight of Wands. And it's because they are more afraid of this interference than they are of disappointing you. That's kind of what I'm getting here. So that's why this person feels guilty. I feel like they feel guilty. Yeah, and I really screwed up is behind that. They feel guilty because they cannot do... It's like they can't deliver even though you deserve it and even though you are worth it you know that's kind of what it happened it's a very specific reading so please let me know in the comments if this resonates for you Aquarius thank you so much for watching if you enjoy the reading hit that like button if you'd like to donate um, there's a thanks button under the title of the video just scroll with your finger to the right if you're on mobile uh, and you'd like to leave a donation that you feel comfortable with thank you so much to everyone that thinks about doing that um, thank you for all of your support. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And um, hopefully I will see you all in another video very, very soon. Take care.